Hello friends, welcome to lecture number two of electricity and magnetism. So here we're going to discuss about Gauss theorem. Gauss theorem and we're going to prove this theorem as well. Or you can say Gauss law. Right. So before we start, please subscribe the channel, hit the like button, thumbs up button, share with your friends and uh, also hit the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded and support me and inspire me to create new contents for you okay so now let's start this law states that the electric flux phi through any closed surface is equal to one by epsilon naught times the net charge q enclosed by the surface suppose we have a closed surface as and it uh, you know charge enclosed by this surface is suppose q then the flux through this surface phi is given by according to Gauss law q by epsilon naught that means 1 by epsilon times of q so we know that electric flux also given by surface integral e dot ds right and that means if the electric field through this uh, surface is suppose e then this is the expression for the flux and according to Gauss law this is equal to q by epsilon naught and this is the mathematical expression of Gauss law so now let us prove this theorem now let us suppose we have a closed surface this is a closed closed surface right let us suppose this is a closed surface and we have considered that here at point O there is a charge Q okay there is a charge Q so this is a point charge situated at O inside a closed surface S this is a closed surface S now you see uh, we have a point P we have a point p here and its position vector is r r vector gives the position vector of this point p with respect to o with respect to the point o and distance is also r right so its position vector is r okay so let me uh, consider that way now you see uh suppose we have a very small surface element here uh, this is the point p so uh, this is the point p in red color and we have a very small surface element suppose ds so this small surface surface element is suppose ds okay so now you see this is the point p right so so here you see now here you see at point p this is the suppose direction of electric field e right due to this uh, q positive charge and uh, as, and here it is uh, this is the you no know, unit vector along the area vector uh, this is the area vector uh, here you see this is area vector and along this area vector we have unit vector n cap suppose so that means area vector means suppose you have a surface this right and if you take this surface and if you want to draw a vector of this uh, area vector of this surface so that will be perpendicular to it will, it will going out normally from this surface like this okay so that is what area vector and let us consider that angle between this electric field and the area vector is suppose theta let me consider it be theta okay so let me write with the white ink so this is suppose theta and the angle subtended by this surface element ds at the center and that will be solid angle right yes so being the student of bsc i hope that you have the idea of solid angle 
so this is the solid angle right so this will be called solid angle because it is 3d right it is 3d so when you have a two in a 2d plane so you have two lines then so here this angle is plane like flat so here if when you have a 3d figure like this uh, you see you consider this situation like cone so assume a cone the angle form here this angle will be called solid angle right this will be called solid angle so now you see so this solid angle formed by subtended by this uh, surface element ds be suppose d omega let me consider this one as d omega right so this distance is r right now let me write what are the things that i have considered here so i have written here what are the things that i have uh, considered as i have already explained with the help of this diagram right so now you see uh, pause the video and take the note uh, now let me prove this theorem okay so let me take a new slide electric field electric field intensity at the point p so that will be given by and uh, at the point p due to positive q charge which is at o uh, uh, will be given by e is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square right so i am writing the only uh, writing magnitude only not in vector form right so here you see electric flux through the surface element ds is given by is given by d phi that is equal to vector e dot ds and dot product of these two will be given by es sorry eds cos theta and i have already explained about the theta what is theta here so now you see so let us use this equation number one here then what we will get so we're gonna get here q by 4 pi epsilon naught d s cos theta by r square so what we have done we have used equation number one using equation number one right now you see suppose we have a very small surface element ds here uh, from uh, which is at a distance of r from a point o and this surface face of this surface such that if you draw a perpendicular to the surface and if you extend this distance uh, 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 this uh, line joining this point and the, the point at this surface in this way and you have it uh, and they makes an angle theta then the solid angle subtended by this uh, area element will be given by that uh, d omega is equal to ds cos theta by r square if this is ds this surface is ds suppose then that will be given by this expression right so here you can see we can write now this d phi is equal to q by 4 pi epsilon naught d omega so this is replaced by this expression right so now you see now you see more. this is electric flux through this small surface element only through this small surface element only so we want to find electric flux through the entire surface this uh, yes this whole surface through this whole surface yes so in order to find it so we have to take here instead of d omega we have to take the solid angle formed by this whole surface right not only 
uh, angle subtended by this element we have to take the angle subtended by this whole uh, surface and you see this three dimensional surface that will uh, create or subtend an angle at this point that solid angle formed by this whole su entire surface at the at this point will be four times of pi okay remember that so that means if you integrate this d omega then you will get four pi right so let me take uh, another slide so electric flux electric flux through the surface s is given by so phi we're gonna obtain it by integrating d phi so that will be equal to so here you see uh, let me go to previous slide here you can see this part is constant so it can be taken outside integral so four uh, sorry not four q four pi epsilon naught integration omega so here you see if you integrate this omega then you will get 4 pi and that is equal to the solid angle subtended by the point uh, subtended at uh, o by this whole surface s that we have taken right so so hope you have understood this so we can write phi is equal to q by 4 pi epsilon naught into 4 pi so what we have done we have got that integration of d omega is equal to 4 pi so we have used this result here so here 4 pi 4 pi gone so we have got phi is equal to that means electric flux through the surface is is equal to q by epsilon naught hence the gauss theorem is proved or gauss law is proved so hope you have understood this is is gauss law so this is the gauss law uh, we have proved here so in the next lecture we're going to discuss about uh, applications of gauss law how to apply this uh, law okay so Hope uh, this video is helpful for you and uh, if it is then uh, please share with your friends and inspire me to create new contents for you. If you are new to my channel please subscribe the channel. Uh, I'm very close to 1k. Please uh, help me to get that uh, mark. Okay. So see you in the next lecture. Stay connected and thank you for watching.